Hi guys! So this is going to be my weekly check-in. I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible, mainly because everyone's in the house, no one's leaving the house and everyone's being ridiculously loud. And I'm literally trying to get this done in one take, but I've already had to stop and redo it because people are just not being cooperative. Um, and Sam travels ridiculously in this household. There's definitely one thing I'm going to try and look for when I look for my own place is I'm going to shout in one room and get someone else to be trying to film a video at the same time because I just can't. Um, but yeah, anyway, so let's get started. And apologies if you hear anyone in the background. I literally can't do anything about that. Um, so I've already done Sunday the 21st. That was a no spend day, which is amazing. Um, we pop over to Monday the 22nd and I went to the pub, bought myself and my friend a drink because it was like one of the first days of being sunny uh, and it was fun to catch up. Just one each. We were good. And then we have my two Monday transfers that always happen. So we've got £2 and £5. One is to my savings and one is to my lifetime ISA. Tuesday was a mistake. I started to write pop in that one. Um, so that was a no spend day. And then Wednesday I had a half day because I had an appointment. So I needed to go get there and I had to grab two buses there, two buses back. So that was an all day situation, which is £4.70, which is actually really good to be honest because I wasn't sure if the buses would be covered by the same, I don't know, bus service, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm glad it does. I'm glad it's just an all day pass and not four, uh, two times four. <laughs> Way more expensive, right? Next up, we have payday, which falls every last Thursday of the month for me. Um, so that happened to fall on the 25th. We decided as a department to get payday cobs um mine worked out to three pounds 30 which came out of my monzo pot i then paid my supervisor my money towards my colleagues mac gift hopefully she's not watching i don't think she knows i even have a youtube channel but someone upstairs does know so if they've mentioned it she might be but my donation was £20, which came out of my gifts pot. And then we had my YouTube money come out. So basically, I pay my portion for a shared account with my friends. And that was £4. Recently changed and increased a bit and wasn't made aware until the day, which is fine. Um, Plum is getting... Three pounds and fifty nine on this day. Usually, with um my money box saving and my plum, I do just accumulate it for a bit and then put it towards a saving challenge. It's a lot easier than trying to do little by little. Then I had my prime money come out for my subscription, and that rounded up to nine pounds. The next day was nothing it's amazing because yesterday um i headed into town my intention was to get out a small 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 amount of money um from the bank for some savings challenges and the bank had a power outage which meant i couldn't do that um but i still did go to starbucks and i bought myself and nay a starbucks well, I mean, he got a baby Chino um, and I got a vanilla matcha latte, which is banging. Um, then I spent £8 in Lakeland. I took it out of baking, um, which in my next video, I explain what I bought. Um, then, I mean, I'm going to pop it as an unbudgeted, but only because it's something that needs to get paid back to me. So I went into town and grabbed some a product for one of my colleagues, um, my supervisor. And she's not someone that goes into town very much. So I picked that up for her because she's read up on it and wants to try it. So I grabbed that for her. She'll pay me back as soon as I give it to her, I'm sure. Um, and that's that. 
and then I had to return some items so when I went to the shop it was hot and I was like you know what I'm just gonna buy myself a drink did it was two pounds and it came out from a Monzo account then I had my phone bill come out at £28. And I did do an unbudgeted spend on Amazon, which was £30. And it's actually for this tripod that you're seeing right now. I might film a clip of what it looks like. So I was just about to set up for the next video, but I realised I hadn't taken a video for this. So this is how I was filming the videos, <laughs> because if I take this off, it's literally going to collapse forward. Um, but I think I can maybe move this for my budget with me, which I'm just going to set up for and film for you. So yeah, this is what the ring light looks like. It literally, I look ridiculous filming on this because... I obviously have it where it is at the 90 degree angle but it needs something to weigh it down so I'm using my water bottle and it's sitting I don't feel like I can say this without being a judge but it is sitting on top of my bible um <laughs> but it has a ring light so it swings around about I think I'm just used to my other one my other one clamped to my dresser so I didn't have to worry about it falling over or anything like that and it wasn't really in my way um maybe it's just going to take some getting used to maybe I'll have to buy another tripod and I know what everyone's thinking like why would you do that why wouldn't you take this one back but I know this one's going to actually come in useful um for the ring light for any pictures or videos facing like straight up rather than a 90 degree angle so I think I'm going to keep it and try and work with it. Um, it might just be me, to be honest. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, and then obviously today I'm going to go Starbucks and I have budgeted some cash for the month for Starbucks. So I'm going to go there and edit maybe four videos for you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where we're at at the moment. Um, Hopefully next week isn't a spendy week, but I do have the week off, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, and there's going to be some things coming up that might change some. I don't think, to be fair, I don't think it's going to affect my YouTube as much as anything else. But it might mean I'll be voice noting some budgeting individuals who I consider my friends to be honest so shout out to Bridget with them shout out to Mr Jill of Manchester um they usually have to deal with the brunt of my voice notes on first world problems um so yes I am gonna get on and fill my cash stuff in now hopefully but I hope this has been somewhat entertaining for you and I hope you guys have a lovely bank holiday. Bye.